Hello guys, welcome back and in today's tutorial we're gonna be looking at how to add some uh, a t-shirt or you know clothes to a character so let's get started um, so first thing you want to do is click the character that you have and then click tab to go into edit mode and click A to deselect all and select the places where you want the clothes to be so I'm gonna be uh, okay. I'm gonna be making a T-shirt for him, so I'm just gonna click C and just keep on doing this. Okay. Um. And it's almost done. There. Almost done there, and just a little, more, little, little more. Um, and that looks pretty good. Okay, so when you're done that, you can just click Shift D to duplicate, duplicate. Okay, and uh, okay, it's duplicated, and now you can let's see. So you you basically made a T-shirt for this character, but now it doesn't look like a T-shirt here. So first thing you want to do is open up this thing and click. <coughs> let's try push and pull. Let's see, no, not that one. Okay, just click shrink and flatten, and just uh, keep on moving like that. Um, hmm. it's too big. Okay, let's just try that again. Okay, uh, I think around there is fine. And now what you want to do is let's just move this down here and okay. So after that is done, you just basically made a T-shirt. But now I'm gonna be adding all the like uh stuff there. So to make it look more uh, you know realistic like to just make it look more better than like if you look around here it looks all you know flat and yeah so I'm just gonna be adding the solidify <coughs> modifier to make it uh, what's it called thingy but okay you'll just see uh, the first thing we want to do is click P and separate it by selection so now they're two different objects and if you want them to become one again you can uh, click on the t-shirt and then click on the character and then click ctrl j to join them so now they're one character but i'm not gonna do that so just gonna control z oh okay that's done okay so now you can uh, Okay, before that, I just want to like, uh, you see how this origin point is down there, but we wanted to like, I selected the t-shirt, but the origin point is still down there, so we're gonna just fix that by clicking T, and going into set origin, and then origin to geometry, and that should fix it. Okay, it's all fixed. And now we're going to be just adding the modifier. modifier. What is it? Mm -hmm. Solidify right there. And you can just increase the thickness to how much you want there to be. Just increase that up here. I'm just going to make it see. I'm 
just uh, setting a different color for the t-shirt so that's all I'm doing uh, I'm just gonna make this this color, okay and I'll go back there and you can set it to how much you want I'll keep it at there uh, it's fine and after this you can also click control 2 to add in a subdivision surface modifier and you know just do whatever you want with it and that's basically the tutorial and mm, let's see maybe we could add a cloth modifier to this so it behaves like a cloth let's see go to the cloth settings okay wicked body and then add a cloth and cloth presets cotton and just gonna scroll down. Just, okay, that's done. Tat, fire, and I'm just gonna apply the subdivision, subdivision surface modifier. So apply. I'm going to edit mode, and go up here. Just cotton, all that is fine. We can select. Uh, Go back into object mode, select the character and add a collision modifier. Let's see now if I play the animation. Hmm. It takes some time to go down, and it just takes some time to do all the stuff that it needs to do. Uh, okay. Yeah, so that was basically the tutorial. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.